wonders. Psalm 77 says this, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your works and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is great like our God? For you are the God who works wonders. So Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. Thank you that you are the God of wonder. What an amazing thing. Pray that you would fill us with wonder anew today. All right. Heels directly under your knees, knees under your hips. Shoulders begin to roll up and then down and back. Roll up and down and back. As you do, increase your breath. Because he is the God of wonder. And wonder is one of those things that's really easy to lose in daily life. Go forward now. All right, plant your feet wider than hip width. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees a lot. Roll it up. Again, inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees and roll it up. One more. Fold and roll. Inhale. Reach over to the right. Open up your chest. Inhale up. Exhale, other way. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus arms. Look up. Inhale up. Forward fold. Now grab your elbows and sway side to side. I'm sore from Wednesday. Are you guys? Okay, guys. Roll it up. Inhale up. Exhale, step back with your left leg high lunge. Up and down. We're still warming up, so be kind and gentle to your body. Open it out. So a wide hip lunge. Now reach forward, opening up your chest. Oh, that feels good. Bring it up. Both feet together. Little squat, like a chair squat. All right, inhale up, come back. Yay, good morning, darling. Up and down, drop your shoulders out of your ears. Open it up, up and down. Back forward, here. All right, take it wide, inhale up, reach to the left. Now roll through the center, reach to the other side. Come on up, forward fold. Now bend your knees a lot, cross, cross. All right, center, go all the way up. Bring your feet in, step back with that left leg, up and down. Now switch. So he is the God of wonders. I'll try to pronounce the Hebrew word in just a minute. From the center, little chair, tuck your toe and under, core is strong. All right. Wide. Do it. Center. Wide the other way. Come back to center, inhale up, exhale, fold, roll it all the way up, one more, inhale, and fold, roll it up, now rotate your hips, so the knee goes up and then out, so he is the God who does wonders, that make us wonder. So how's your wonder? How's your awe? He wants to renew it today. All right, squat. Getting a little deeper as we get warmer. Widen. Take it super narrow. Remember, everything is an invitation. 
rotation. Take it wide. Back to narrow. Up. Forward fold. Now here, pedal your feet. Pedal those feet. So he is the God who does wonders. Roll it all the way up. Make sure you have drumsticks near. We're going to do one more song of warm up. You are the God who works wonders. I love this book because it talks about how <laughs> when you stand at the checkout line and you see those really preposterous headlines, you're like, well, that's just, you know, barber cuts man and man bleeds red and green blood or, you know, whatever it is. And but then she began to list like the things that are so preposterous in the Bible. Axe head floats. 5,000 and two fish feed 5,000 people. Cross your body. Get into those heads. So he is a God of wonders. He's supposed to be bigger than what we understand. Reach up. All right. Take it to a cross knee.
Thank you. 
love it when it works that way. Oh, what have a seat. Hold on. I'll give you a minute while you're sitting down. Let me read you another wonder verse. God also bore witnesses, bore witness by signs and wonders and various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. So when you think about the things in the Old Testament where the earth stopped rotating for an entire day because Joshua asked, God, I need a longer day to beat these enemies. Sure, I'll stop the world for you. They, when the prophet, who didn't even a prophet, it was Philip. He was talking to a guy, an Ethiopian, and all of a sudden God was like, you're done here, and took him and translated him 20 miles. These are the wonders of our God. The blind seeing, the deaf hearing, the lost saved. That's the greatest wonder of all. So today, how's your wonder? How's your wonder? How in the mundaneness of life have you lost the truth that he is a God of wonder? That the fact that you're here today is a wonder. That his love is a wonder. The fact that he chooses to love me every single day makes me want to say, are you sure? <laughs> he is. All right, so this is all a lot of core. You can sit here or here if you need to. If your hip flexors really start hurting, we're going to double in each side. Just open.
shame and anxiety. All right, rest there. You can stay with those or grab one heavy. And now we're going to take it up and down. So your biceps are by your ears. Press up, pull down. If you want more, add a calf raise. Lord, would you renew to us, and maybe in a way we've never experienced before, the wonder of your love. Bring it here. Take your feet wider, toes forward, sit into a squat, side to side. So your shoulders have to be rolled down and back, like you're smiling with your collarbone. Bend up, curl, squat. If you want to take it faster, you can. You can make it one move or two. Give me three more. Take your weight up. Again, now shoulders down and back. Side knee raise. Give me five, four, three, two. Switch sides. Back to the overhead extension. So he is the God of wonder. This is why Paul says he's the God of immeasurably more. And you could all ask or think. Side to side, we're not done. Keep going. All right, now from here, I want you to drop low. Bring it here, turn. So we're going to stay low. I know it doesn't set the music, that's okay. So he is the God of wonder. So what do you wonder about? Hold here. So press that weight between the hand, your hands. Bring it all the way up. Switch. Take it up here, drop low. Maybe you close your eyes and just let the wonder of his holiness and his goodness, the fact that he chose you. That he is Emmanuel, God with us. That he is the God who sees. Bring that down. Back to the curl squat. And he's holy, holy, holy. And yet, he says, come close. The blood of Jesus made the way. Thank you, Lord. Stay here. Sit into that high squat. Tuck your tailbone under. Side to side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, grab another weight. I want you to, and you do not have to use weight. You can totally not. We're gonna work some balance work. Root down through your right foot without gripping in your toes. Hips are square. Now, keeping your left toe pointed toward the floor, not out. And they begin to lift. So the higher you lift your back leg, the further down your weights go. Now hold here. Square your hips, brace your core. And you imagine you're reaching through that left heel. If you wobble, it's good. Do your muscles working. Gently, slowly bring it up. Bring that knee forward. Shoulders down and back, core strong, extend and bring in. Now you may need to be here. That's good too. Remember these are success options. One more. 
All right, shake it out. Shoulders down and back again, hips square. Watch your toe as you lift it because you're going to want to open out. Keep that toe down. Shoulders down and back, palms forward. Slow. Sometimes it feels like the higher intensity is more work, but this is just as much intensity and core work. So how's your wonder? You are the God of wonders. I will ponder your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. Gently bring that knee up and then bring, hold here, find your balance. You're always free to drop your weights if you need to. Now extend and bring in. Again, you can tap. It's not less, it's simply an option for success because you have a good, good body. All right, release that. Keep your weights. All right, one more. Actually, go ahead and take your shoes off if you want. I love balance work because it's challenging. I like challenges. All right. I'm going to encourage you to grab a weight or something to bring the floor up to you because we're going to do a side balance. So, I want you to plant into your right foot. Keep your spine long, bend over. So I'm going to use the weight to bring the floor up to me. So, or, you know what, if you're here, that's good, as long as you keep your chest open. So if you're seeing more on the floor than you are the walls in front of you, get a weight. Now start here, and then gently begin to lift. So some of the other wonders of the Bible. Jesus walked on water. The whale swallowed Jonah and then spit him up. God's hand appeared to one of the evil kings of Babylon and wrote on the wall. Now gently bring it. So the boat hands are the Lord. Lift your leg. Now, same leg, don't be lifted, cross it over your planted right foot. So from here, again, you may need that weight. Don't lock your knees. We're after a deep stretch into the back of the legs. Now very gently roll it up. So we're going to switch and do everything on the other side. These kinds of these kinds of balance work, it really works your core in ways that other things don't. So, and I really, y'all know me, I like, I really like awkward. All right, so plant your left foot, reach for the weight of the floor, open up your chest. Again, if you're seeing more of the floor than you are, an angle, like a 45 angle, you need to come up. And then when you're ready, I'm so much wobblier, wobblier. More wobbly on the side. So breathe. I love the story of the oil jar of the widow who was, she wasn't even a covenant Israelite. And she had just a jar of oil and she said, I'm going to make bread and die. And Elijah said, Make me some first. No, that was flour. I'm getting the stories mixed up. Gently bring it down, cross the right over left and fold. So she said, my son, the oil jar store is cool too. She said, they're gonna sell my son to pay my husband's debt. And he says, go get all the jars you can find. And she filled them out of her small oil jar. She filled like, I don't know, the Bible doesn't say how many, but it was a lot. Let me roll it up. All right, keep your feet wide. Great job. Toes forward. Roll your shoulders down and back. Gently bring your arms up. Drop your shoulders out of your ears. Spread your fingers wide. Face hands. So we invite you to renew our wonder. In the places where we wonder what in the world you're doing, 
hands to eyes of wonder. Can we reach over to the left? So kick that right hip out, reach to the left. Where you don't understand is an invitation to intimacy and wonder. Lord, I trust you. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side. So first a really awkward reach, and then let your hand go down your leg. Again, open up your side body, kick out that left hip. Now, bring your hands to interlace your knuckles, bring your hands behind your head, draw your head back, press your hips forward. Now, side bend to the left. Roll forward, come low if you want. Side bend to the right. Inhale up. Now take your hands behind you, interlace your knuckles down. Drop your chin to your chest. So roll your shoulders down and back, knuckles press to the floor. Now lift up. Inhale and exhale. I love that line in his name. All oppression shall cease. Bring your knuckles to the left hip, right ear, right shoulder. Sing or breathe. Switch sides. Left, right, left ear to left shoulder. The wonder of the God who purchased us because he loved us. Then we come back to center. Now take those arms up and over, forward, fold. If your shoulders don't like this, let your hands rest on your low back. Down, hang. Let your head and your face relax. Release your hands, widen your stance. Walk your hands over to the left. Now you can grab behind your leg or maybe reach for the floor, but bring yourself close to that leg. Keeping your jaw soft, your shoulders relaxed. Come back to center, place your left hand under your nose, you may need a weight, and open up with your right. So don't lock your knees, but from the floor, reach up. Gently come forward, forward fold. Walk over to the right, pull yourself close. Come back to center. Again, grab that weight if you need to. Right hand down, left arm opens up. Breathe into the twist. Look up towards your hand if you can, otherwise look straight or down. Let me release. Forward fold, grab your elbows, so that your biceps frame your ears and sway side to side. You can go as big or as small as your body needs. I want you to learn to hear what your body's saying to you. We're not in a rush. like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders. Now, you can stay wide or bring your feet in a little more. I want you to come to a deep squat as your hips allow. This may be the deepest you can go, that's okay. You can sit into it, then a little deeper, draw your shoulders back. Breathe, in awkward places, breathe. In the tight places, breathe. Lord, show me your wonders. You are the God of wonders. I want to know you. I want to be a woman of wonder. Take your hands down. Come onto your knees and your hands. Shoulders over, 
So when you walk your hands over to the left, keeping your hips pressed back, right hand presses to the top of your left. about the wonder of a child and how they see Christmas and how they see lights and presents and stars and sunsets and toys. Think of that wonder. He wants to renew that wonder inside of you. For his greatness and his kindness and his love toward you. His powerful deeds and his mighty acts. The wonder of his great love. Come back to center. Again, press those hips back, reach forward. And you can stay here for this last song or roll over onto your back. unto us a child is born, for unto us a son is given, the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called 
wonderful, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and uphold it with justice and righteousness from this time forth forevermore. One of the greatest wonders of all, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, and whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. Wherever you are, turn your palms up, whether you're still face down on the floor, whether you're seated or on your back, turn your palms up and lift your face holy imagination to see him seeing you. So we talked about Wednesday that he's the God who sees us. And because of Jesus, his eyes are toward us and for us. And this is a wonder. And when he looks at us, he sees the righteousness of Christ. He loves us just as he loves Jesus. So Lord, in the places where we wonder where you are and where our wondering has made us wander, we offer those places, Lord, where we don't understand, renew our wonder and awe and trust. That you are who you say you are, that you are the God who works all things. Lord, I pray this season that you would give us places of wonder. Childlike awe that says, Wow, the God of all gods loved me and came. Lord, in the places where pain dulls our wonder, God, would you bring healing? Broken relationships, Lord. Places of betrayal and hurt, Lord, and bitterness, God, we would your wonder come and renew us, cleanse us, Lord. And you would overwhelm us with the wonders of your life. The wonders, the wonders, the wonders of your life. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it at the top. And then slowly let it out. I want you to exhale until there's nothing left in your lungs, and then inhale. Let again. But I pray your wonder would take off the weight you carry. Love you back. Thank you for this beautiful time, Lord. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you gave us bodies to move. However, we move today, God, I pray you bless these bodies with life and health, renewal, where they're tired, God, would you bring life and refreshment? Where their emotions are spent, Father, would you refresh their hearts, Lord, with your love? That they would know that you're toward them with kindness. You are the God of strength and mercy, that we can run to the throne, which is mercy and help in times of need. So God, thank you. For the season of wonder, 
and we'd be changed by it in new ways this year. Thanks for these good vibes that are able for a place to come and worship like this. Thanks for this beautiful name of Jesus Christ. I'm so glad you guys are here today. Thank you. Oh.